Welcome to Moodle Basics for Students. To start, open any web browser and go to cit.edu. You will be directed to our CIT University official website. Now, on the upper right corner, you will see an M symbol indicating Moodle. Right click to get to our CIT University online. That's Wildcat Slayer learning management system and instructional resources. Now to log into your account, click log in and input your default username and password. Then you will arrive to your dashboard. The dashboard is where all of your courses enrolled will be shown. This is your navigation pane where you can see all of the list of courses that you have at the same time a one click away to your site home and site pages. But before you browse to your respective courses, we would advise you to change first your profile. So that's click your name right here, click profile, update your details by clicking edit profile. Kindly change your first name. and your family name. Update your CTR town and your country. You may also put a quick description about you, just like your bio and your Facebook account. I will just put a sample here. And then you update your profile picture. So you click, you either drag a drop file or click this button. Then you click upload a file, choose file, and then access your profile picture. Then upload this file. You may also explore other features. So you may also put your nickname. And then click update profile. Updating your profile will help your instructors to know you. Now I think you are ready. To go to your respective courses, you may click My Courses and see all those courses you are enrolled. Or you may also click Dashboard. Now you'll see here your respective courses. Let's take for example, we're going to this course. So you will see here the whole view of your course description course image now as you go through discussion go row by row so your instructors will post every week for your materials so for example in this one it's arranged by week one two three and so on and so forth let us start first with help using announcements so your teacher give an announcement on class you will be notified via email that there was an announcement. So all you need to do is access it and reply or respond to the announcement. So say for example this one, click and then you read the discussion. Then you may just send a reply like thank you, ma'am. Or if your teacher posts a question, respond via reply. Then click submit now to go back to the previous page just use this part indicating the previous pages so you're already here go and announcements go to the main page welcome to your class now files are uploaded you just have to click this one and then you have an option to download it for later use or you may just read it on your laptop. Then go back and then proceed to the next rows. Notice this one after accessing course guide, you already have a check mark indicating that you've visited already the file. So you have to go row by row and then every after access of following the instructions, you have this will automatically be checked. Now let's go to submitting output. So click assignment and then read instructions if it's written here so all you need to do is to submit an output 
Okay? So, you will know the status, grading, due date, time remaining, etc. So, you click Add Submission. To whatever task was given to you, just submit the file. Okay? Click Upload File. So, let's just say, for example, PDF file. Okay. Upload. And then, you click Upload this file. Save changes. So you you will be marked the assignment was submitted, uh, number of days when it was submitted. So you will need not to worry if it was received or not because you are really notified here. Okay. You may also edit submission, especially if it is allowed by your teacher, or you may remove submission and replace it with a new one. It's up to you. Let us now go to how do you communicate with your teachers via Moodle. So you have here this message icon. So you can toggle the messaging drawer. Um, you will also be grouped. Your teacher can also assign group conversations for you within your course. There's also a private part where you can message anyone who is online. In your, not necessarily in your course. Okay, so you can access the names here who are online. So it works just like your Facebook Messenger. Or you may message a specific person. Like for example, you want to contact the instructor. Sample. There. And then you type in your message. For example. There. Message is sent. You may also message them through, if you want to check if they're online, you can just go to your dashboard, this one, and then you will see here the online users. So you can also check on your classmates or everyone in the network in Moodle who are online. So you can message them. Use as well the feature of Moodle. It has a calendar, so you can toggle in here, a calendar, and if you can check out all those red marks, those are deadlines not met and then upcoming okay so you also have an upcoming event so submit or deadline days will be submitted here so i think that's all for now there's so much more to explore in model if you do have questions just feel free to communicate with create at cat.edu and or engage in a conversation with the tech nerd that would be all thank you